Hey everybody, Daniel from Space Dock here. Just a couple of quick updates before this short. First up, if you're a BSG fan, and I have to assume you are given that you're watching this video, you may have noticed the BSG wiki has been recently down. This is due to some domain issues that they're having, and they're currently working on a Patreon to try and get it back up. Uh, the site was a great service, it'd be fantastic to see it back in action, so please do go and check out their Patreon if you get the chance. Second up, some good friends of mine from the Wrexham Glindor Science Fiction Society are kicking off a new podcast channel, the flagship series of which is a Doctor Who podcast. So if you're a Doctor Who fan, you may want to go and throw those guys some views, help them get the channel off the ground. I can say from experience that getting started up is the hardest part of running a YouTube series, so I'm sure any views they can get from you guys would be greatly appreciated. Okay, on with the video. Assembled in the wake of their initial revolution against humanity, and heavily modified during the 40-year armistice, the Cylon Starfleet is well-rounded and highly effective in combat, boasting a variety of vessel classifications which each complement the fleet and serve a crucial purpose to the greater whole, reflecting many of the principles upon which the entirety of Cylon society is based. Serving as the primary space superiority fighter of the Cylon fleet, the Raider is a semi-sentient biomechanical attack craft, optimised for use in swarms. Armed with a pair of rapid-fire kinetic energy weapons, capable of carrying both conventional and nuclear missiles, and largely immune to the G-forces suffered by piloted spacecraft, the Raider is a lethal opponent in ship-to-ship -ship combat, and the fighter carries an FTL drive whose range far exceeds that of all colonial drive units, including those installed on warships. The use of Raiders is central to the majority of Cylon naval strategies, and much of their fleet is designed to facilitate the support and rapid deployment of of these deadly interceptors. Often seen alongside the Raider is its larger and sturdier counterpart, the Heavy Raider. Like the standard Raider, the vessel features an autonomous biomechanical control system, but it instead serves a more secondary role, assisting a Centurion or humanoid Cylon pilot, and taking over should they be incapacitated. The Heavy Raider carries a pair of tri-barrel autocannons, as well as a complement of ship-to-ship -ship missiles, and can carry ten Centurions into battle as an extremely powerful boarding party or assault team. Heavy Heavy Raiders are extremely resilient and well armoured, and play a crucial role in the Cylon fleet as assault transports and gunships. They are often seen supporting wings of conventional Raiders, establishing small planetside firebases, or delivering assault teams to hostile warships. The Cylon Base Star serves as the backbone of the fleet, providing the Cylons with a resilient missile platform and force projection vessel. The Base Star does not carry any ballistic cannons or mid-range gun batteries, nor is it especially manoeuvrable at sublight speeds. Instead, the ship is used as a deployable staging ground, jumping into an area using its supremely advanced FTL drive, and creating a central point from which Cylon forces can strike at the enemy. The Base Star is armed with 220 missile tubes, each compatible with aspect-seeking missiles, dumbfire ballistic missiles, and nuclear warheads. And across the vessel's large pylons, 434 raiders are stored in vertical deployment bays, ready to be scrambled at a moment's notice. The Base Star also features several larger hangar bays within its primary hull, where heavy raiders and recon drones are stored, along with any commandeered colonial vessels. Base Stars share many of the biomechanical properties of their auxiliary craft, as well as an impressive organic resin which allows the vessel to be repaired extremely quickly, but the ships are not reliant on their organic elements to function, as they are fully crewed by many humanoid Cylons and Centurions, as well as a single hybrid, a biosynthetic life form which serves as the vessel's brain. In the support role, the Cylons employ only two vessels, a modular freighter for cargo and passenger transportation, and the rare but crucial Resurrection Ships. Resurrection Ships maintain a constant connection to the Resurrection Hub, and carry all of the necessary hardware to support the transfer of Cylon consciousness into new humanoid bodies, making the vessel a critical asset to the Cylon fleet. The Cylons will often refuse to overstretch their forces beyond the range of their Resurrection Ships for fear of placing Cylons at risk of permanent mortal death, and wherever their resurrection ships are deployed, large flotillas of base stars and wings of raiders are positioned to escort them, as the resurrection ships themselves lack armament or meaningful defences. 
Overall, the Cylon fleet is exceptionally balanced and versatile, designed around a core group of strategies which have led the Cylons to victory on many occasions. So long as a resurrection ship is active and within range, the forces of the Cylon fleet can relentlessly pursue and attack their enemies, with no risk of casualties. And though the loss of a base star or a wing of raiders will serve as a momentary setback, the constant replacement of lost humanoid Cylons and destroyed warships makes escape from the Cylon war machine into a near impossibility.